video is about the five senses. The five senses. Imagine you're at a cabin in the woods next to a lake. You're exploring. As you walk around, the heat from the sun comes to the trees and touches your face. You can see the birds flying around and chipmunks scurrying across the ground. Someone nearby is cooking. You can smell the food and the smoke from their campfire. When you get to the lake, you notice kids playing in the water. Take a minute to think about the different body parts you use to experience all the things around you. Your ears to hear, your eyes to see, your nose to smell, your hands to touch, your mouth to taste. As you imagine that cabin scene, in your mind, could you hear the birds chirping? Could you see the kids splashing in the lake? Could you imagine smelling or tasting the food that was being cooked? Could you hear the crunch of the leaves under your shoes as you walked, or feel the warmth of the sun shone on your face? Sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch are called our five senses. They help you gain a clear picture of all that is happening around you. Think of all the wonderful things you're able to do because of those five senses working together. Let's take a look at each of these senses individually. First, we'll start with sight. Inside your eye, there are special lenses that take in light to help you see things. Think of your eyes like a camera. The light reflected from different objects enters your eye through your pupils. The front of your eye then focuses those images onto your retina or the back of your eye. Your eyes have some incredible abilities. Did you know that our pupils grow bigger in the dark and smaller when it's bright? That's because they are adjusting to the differences in the light. Have you ever noticed when a light is first turned off that you can't see anything around you? But then after a minute, things become clearer. The same goes if you step out into the bright sun, because our eyes are sensitive to too much light. You may squint momentarily until your eyes adjust to the brightness. Not everyone sees things the same way. Some people see very clearly, while other people may need glasses or contacts to help them see better. Some people can see color, while others are colorblind, which means they have a hard time telling the difference between various colors like red and green. Whether you see clearly or not, colors or gray, your eyes have a pretty important job. The second sense is hearing. Hearing depends on our ears. There are two parts to the ear, the outer ear and the inner ear. The outer ear, or the part that we can see, catches sound waves and directs them to the eardrum. The inner ear is lined with thousands of tiny hairs that are so small they could fit on the head of a pin. These hairs vibrate and then send signals to your brain to make sense of what you are hearing. As we get older or exposed to a lot of loud noises, these tiny hairs become damaged and can cause us to lose some of our hearing. So it's important that we protect our ears. The third sense is smell. It comes from our nose. Scents in the air stimulate olfactory cells located in the nose. Those cells send the brain information, which then identifies what the nose is smelling. Certain smells can make us feel sick. Other smells can warn us of danger, like if there was a fire. We can suddenly feel hungry when we smell something yummy cooking. Some smells can even trigger memories. Our sense of smell is linked to our sense of taste. If you've ever had a cold, you might notice you can't smell as well. You also have a difficult time tasting what you eat. Your nose and your mouth are connected and work closely together. Which brings us to our fourth sense, taste, which happens in your mouth. Our mouths are filled with thousands of taste buds which are replaced about every two weeks. Taste buds have very sensitive microscopic hairs on them which send messages to the brain about how something tastes. This helps us experience four main flavors, salty, sweet, sour, and bitter. Many foods you eat may be a combination of the four main flavors. The tongue can also feel whether something in your mouth is hot, cold, creamy, crunchy, or dry. Without our sense of taste, food would be pretty boring.
The fifth sense is feeling or touch. This sense comes from our skin and can be felt throughout the entire body. There are many nerves located in your skin. They collect information to send to the brain about what we are feeling. Some parts of your body are more sensitive to touch than other parts. For example, the skin on your elbow has less feeling than the skin on your lips, which are very sensitive. Most of our feeling is done by our hands. Through touch, we can feel if something is smooth or rough, soft or hard. We may feel something that causes us pain like a hot stove or something that feels good like cool water on a hot day. Humans are not the only ones who experience the five senses. Animals also have senses. Some of the senses are more prevalent or stronger than others in various animals. For example, owls see better at night in the dark than they do during the day. Their sense of night vision helps them locate and catch prey. They can even see camouflage prey from up to two miles away. Moles have poor eyesight, so they use their sense of smell to help them locate food. Spiders usually have eight eyes, but even with that many eyes, they don't see well. Instead, they rely more on touch and vibrations to catch their prey. Dogs have excellent hearing. They can hear sounds that are not loud enough for our human ears. That's why they can hear a dog whistle, but we can't. Guinea pigs have an advanced sense of taste that help them identify different food flavors. They have a lot more taste than humans do and tend to prefer foods that taste sweet. That may be something humans and guinea pigs have in common. In summary, the five senses work together to help people and animals live, protect themselves, learn, and enjoy the world around them. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.